Okay, so you start off with just a blank, just a blank image. You know, you go to File, and then New, and then you just type in whatever size you want, and there you go. Okay, and then you open up just whatever zebra image you have that you found on Photo Bucket. I think Tiny Pick has images you can save too. Okay, so on your new one that's blank, go to Analysis and then Filter. And you go to artistic click on any one of them and it should pull up all of this with different stuff on it okay go to sketch and below that should say bass relief either do that one or I'd say plaster should work pretty good for bass relief you can notice that the purple tone and the pink is on bottom so the purples on top and pinks on bottom on plaster the pink will be on the top and the purple will be on the bottom. Now, it, it depends on what colors you choose, you know, so, but just say you choose pink and purple and that's just how it goes. <laughs> okay. So, I think I'll choose plaster. Go to your zebra image and you use the magic wand tool. So, make sure it's on the magic wand tool. Okay. This will be comfy. So, I'll zoom in on it take that tool and you just click on the black spaces you can use the white but I prefer the black um, just click on all those parts till it's all glowing you see it kind of moving glowing okay then you go to file and let's see. edit copy sorry edit copy okay you go to this image that you have go to edit whoops sorry edit paste and there you go that's how you do it it's pretty simple pretty easy that's how you do it oh and to save it you go to layer layer go down to merge visible and then that way over here it's just one layer combined we go.